Derpy Moose 99. Welcome to part two of Pure Vanilla. This is a series designed as a tutorial for total banished beginners. And I'm just thinking that on the Steam sale, it's um, seven bucks or something Canadian, so it's got to be 50 cents American. I don't know what the exchange rate is these days, but anyways, it'd be a lot of people that might have picked it up. And uh, hopefully, this tutorial is friendly. Once you watch this series, I also have another video called How Not to Kill a Town, which I highly recommend for some of the core concepts. And uh, most importantly, this is a, it's a great game. It's a little bit harder than it looks, but have fun and hopefully you enjoy the tutorial. Thank you. All right, this force note's looking pretty good up here. We're getting most of the junk cleared out. Little extra rock and stone kicking around. All right, we've got a mine here. And how many people do we have? Well, you know, I think I might just stick two people in there and mine a little bit of iron. Be slow. But let's get a trickle of iron coming in. And I think we probably want a stockpile for that. So let's do that. Hmm. This didn't really work out great for the road there, so I'm going to alter this a bit. Be a little more uh, marketplace friendly here. So let's do this. And let's actually take out this road here. Okay. Don't care how long that takes. There's our marketplace. Now, the other thing we should really seriously think about too is the school. The school is kind of a, you know, there's some debate on when the best timing to do the school is, but early, once you've got your food supply secure, tools are going, and firewood. Yeah. Oh, the, the issue with the school is, um, instead of people graduating to be a laborer at 10, it's around 15, 16, or 17 depending on travel time. So people don't become workers as quickly, but when they do become workers, they're something like 30 or 40% more efficient. Um, so it's worth doing at some point, and the timing, there's much debate on when the right timing is. Don't do it too early, don't do it too late. You'll get a feel for when the right time for it is. All right, um, in our second forest node down here, we got the Forester Lodge built. Now, there's not as many trees in this one, so I'm going to make a priority to get two people in there planting early here. And we'll just pin that up there. We have 28 adults, so 14 minimum houses, that's 5. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, we're okay-ish on houses for the moment. So let's build the rest of this forest node here, the hunting cabin and the gathering hut. And I should have turned the pig timer on and I did not, so I can do that now. And I think I'm gonna set it around 40. And we can probably schedule this stuff to be picked up here too. So stone. And iron. So clearing out, again, clearing out the forest circle. There's rooms to plant trees and for wild food to grow. And down the road when we put a herbalist in, it'll be for that as well too. Um, okay, that road's cleared out over there. You know, I really don't like the way these houses are laid out, so... I'm going to get a bit fussy here for a moment, and I'm going to plunk in, I don't know, four houses. Um, I'm going to nucleate that stockpile. Let's maybe prioritize the school, though, and get the education going. Okay, so our build queue is at 16 people right now, but that's okay. 
that's where the priority tool comes in. You manage what you want built first. Even though the three workers would be overwhelmed. So, our log supply is pretty low at the moment. We have a fair amount of firewood and tools are doing okay, so... Not gonna panic on that so much, but what we can do is just take some of these trees out. I don't like manually removing out of the forest circle because... Although that gets you logs, it impairs your um, food production from a gatherer's hut. And also impairs the hunter's ability to hunt, so... Food, wild food and deer and everything do a lot better when there's a forest canopy. Um, so resist the urge to manually chop out of a forest node would be my advice. Okay, we're going to put a school teacher in. Now once you have a school teacher in, make sure you always got at least two laborers, one or two laborers in the pool here. Because if your school teacher dies of an accident or something, or old age or whatever, and there's no replacement labor, then your kids will all empty out in the street. And that'll cause a ruckus. Um, but more importantly, it means that those kids will never get educated. And the years they spent in school just totally go to waste. Okay, so if you have a teacher, make sure you have at least one laborer. I would advise at least two. I mean, it's good advice anyways, because laborers backfill the other jobs. And let's see. There's the gatherer. Our food is at 3200, so I don't have a ton of people right now, so I'm actually not going to turn that on. So we're going to hold that in reserve. Okay. Now this is kind of a cleanup over here, so I'm going to actually prioritize that. And then we can go and actually delete some of these houses here. Um, we're prioritizing the housing build, I think. Well, more than think, I did it. So there you go. Okay. Logs are low. Well, that's why I, I turned off this icon here. Because I don't like hearing the, the ding dong of the alarm for low logs. So, you know, keep checking up here. You don't need the thing alarming at you. Okay, looks like we got a few houses to clean up here. If, if you build too many houses, you'll get your couples will split up and then you have to go back and sort of deal it up. Um, so I'm going to delete these three houses here. Now I think this here is a split up couple, so I'm going to remove the house and then I'm going to reclaim it. And let's see, yeah, then a full family moves in there. Okay. It's just a bit weird. If you have too many houses, couples split up. If you want them to go back together. You kind of got to manage the houses by... Okay, that's a valid couple. This, I think, is a split up, so I'm going to... Okay, I actually want to get rid of all these and clean this all up. Okay, that's a valid couple. So I'd say we still build a couple of these houses down here. And then we'll assess where we're at with housing. Now you don't have to do all this messing around. I just don't really like the way the, the easy mode sets up there. So I'm just kind of cleaning that up and moving it around a bit. Yeah, do not feel it's obligatory to do that kind of stuff. Build your town the way that makes you happy. I think I'll prioritize this. these two houses and that hunting lodge. Our food is falling a bit, so we're going to think about putting some people in the gatherer's hut here. 
Of course, anytime we build a mess of new houses, it's going to cause the food uh, stock to go down as people stock up the houses, and these ones probably haven't been collected yet, so there'll be a little food trapped in those houses. All right, we have two and two on the builders and the laborers. Um, probably should get a town hall at some point here, too. Okay, we have no homeless at the moment. Once this house builds, I'm going to run through all the houses. And we'll just assess where we're at here. Okay, so if we start here, valid couple, valid couple, valid couple. It's all valid. So I'm looking for two things. I'm looking to make sure there's valid couples in each of these houses. And that's not a social comment, it's just the game mechanics. And uh, I want to also see if there's any uh, graduated kids that are ready to move out. So it looks to me like right now, we built one extra house. So we'll just keep an eye on that. But everything here is good. Yeah, we got 28 adults here. Looks like we got 9, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, okay. So that divide by two round up thing is just a rule of thumb. If you actually verify things, it works out slightly different. But you know, simple rules. So firewood is a bit low. Logs are a bit low. Um, this guy is planting. And we can manually cut a little bit too. Just pull up our circles for a second. And let's chop some trees outside of the circle here. And maybe some log and stone too. Now be careful on your collection, right? Don't collect from across the river you don't have a bridge on. And don't collect too far away from a stockpile. If, if I designated all this stuff over here for collection with no stockpile and no houses, not very much would get collected or it would get collected very slowly, so... You want stockpiles nearby, you want houses nearby. Okay, now the other thing that we should probably think about building is a tailor. Probably have a little bit of leather anyways. So we could think about putting in a tailor here. Now, where is a tailor here? Put it in right by the school there, that's not terrible. Okay, that house is still empty. Yeah, firewood is low. Firewood is a little lower than I would like it to be. So let's put in another woodcutter here. say it's just my day for just not lining things up properly okay so we're building a tailor we're building a wood better the wood cutter I think is the priority though yeah this is not a full lush canopy so you can tell this uh, Forster Lodge working full-time chopping down trees here but like I say they are planting so that's what's keeping the gatherer working here yeah. yeah 24 leather a year I think that's 12 coats but we'll find out here um you know up this limit from 25 to 50 Probably wouldn't hurt to think about a spare blacksmith too. All right, a young couple's moved into that house there. 
Oh, uh, we have 13 students. This school will hold 20, I think. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Now, our food is getting a bit low. Um, let's put two people in this gathering hut here. Okay, so that's half staffed, and these will be our next two houses to build. These fields are producing for us here. How much are they producing here? 810, 840, yeah, 600 there. Probably wouldn't hurt to have a couple houses over here. All right, and I think what we want to do is we want to start thinking about another farming community here. So just outside of the yellow circle here. Oh, dang. Got a bit of a hill there. You know, it's not going to be ideal for a road, but it's built to there. And then build something like that. Not the best road I ever built, but you do have to build around the terrain there. Okay, and I think what I'm going to do is put another stockpile here. Let's put a little 5x5 five five there. And what I'm thinking is maybe another marketplace school. And then some farms over here. And there's a big area there. Like this is probably the big, biggest luscious area over here. Oh, you know, we should probably think about a quarry, too. So maybe we can build a marketplace, some housing, and then a quarry in here, maybe a couple farms. Get over here to another city center and go farm an orchard crazy down there. I actually like, like that plan better than building this bridge over here. Although we probably should build the bridge anyways. It's always good to have a bridge to somewhere. If you can click on it. Alrighty. Now, do I have the bridge over here? Do I have it underneath something? Or am I just derping? Oh, there it is, wooden bridge. Right in front of your face, dummy. All right, let's staff up this new uh, woodcutter here. And logs are low, so let's just keep that at 400. Well. 600. We're going to turn this forester on pretty soon here. I think I did designate all this stuff to be cleared out. I really wish that little bump wasn't there. But oh well. It is. It's not going to have to be there. So maybe a little farther over. Let's do a market there now. I think I'm starting to get to the point where I want a town hall. So I'm still thinking about the trading docks over here. Now, I was worried about the road here though. Or the potential for a road. Well, you do sort of get over there. Okay. So let's see, can, how many trading docks could we get in if we were going to put trading docks in here? Okay, we could do one there. 
not going to fit there, but it might fit there. All right. So I'm not going to build those right now. But might as well get road. Now where are we over here? Oh, we're going to miss two, it looks like. That's not terrible for this kind of map, though. All right, and let's put a stockpile. I think this is a 12 by a. Let's actually make it 12 by four. Okay, let's let that build and um, we'll come back do a town center, a couple of houses and maybe get some trading going. All right, so trading dock up there. All right, now the whole point of that too was where to put the town hall. Now, I really like the town hall near the trading dock because of the, uh, oh, I didn't seem to build that stockpile, did I? Oh yeah, vanilla. All right, so I'm gonna go six by four and six by four. I forgot you can't build big stockpiles. Okay, and I'm actually going to put the town hall right in over here. It's a big sucker and it takes a lot of resources, but the metrics you get off of this thing really help you control your town, right? So put it in when you, when you can afford the resources safely. Um, like I said, it's expensive, but what you're going to get out of this is really going to help you manage the situation. So. Let's go for that. I'm not going to prioritize it though. I'll let it build as it builds. Probably build fairly slowly. Now, do I want to road through my precious forest node here? I think if we're going to trade out of there, we probably should, so... That'll cut into our forest node productivity, but... Probably could sneak a bridge across here too. Oh, well, let's not fuss too much on that right now. Food's over 4,000. We're doing okay. Um, we have six laborers and two workers. I kind of suspect we need these houses now. So I'm going to build them. And then we can micromanage them as required. So even though we set all that other stuff up to build, let's prioritize these houses. This is clearing out slowly and planting slowly. We have enough logs for now, we don't have to worry about it. Our health is up to five, so... Building these uh, farms that have the grains in them has really helped us balance our bud our our uh, diet out here. That's got our health up. We're producing a bit of leather out here, which is good, and some beef. And we still haven't built the tailor yet. Oh, that's okay. Um, we should probably slide a couple more people into the m iron mine here. We're starting to build buildings that use iron, so let's do that. And this is going to build fairly slowly over here, but that's okay. Um, maybe I do want to sneak a bridge in. At some point here, I want to convert to stone roads, at least on the, on the main thoroughfares, but... I'll leave it as it is for the moment. Tools are okay. Actually, I'm actually going to make this 100. And uh, we'll see if we can achieve that. That means we have enough blacksmiths, but I think a second blacksmith is probably warranted pretty soon. 
All right, nice couple moved in there. Let's see who moves into this one. Um, 21 year old, so that probably means we're pent up on the housing demand here. So, hmm. I think it wouldn't be awful to build a house over here. Well, let's see. Put the road in around the town hall. And then, looks like this is going to block here, so... Maybe the top of the town hall, that goes over. And I'm just going to figure out where we'd have some houses here. So, a couple of houses in a marketplace. Which way do we want the marketplace to sit? I think that way, yeah. Okay, we'll pause that marketplace. Pause that house, but we'll build this house here. Um, let's actually make that a priority because that'll help with the build over here. So we'll build that house. Looks like our tailor is up here. Wool, leather, or leather and wool. Leather is all we have for the moment. Um, clothing them at 50, you go. Alright, and prioritize this house. Let her rip up, oh, safety save. Maybe we haven't saved in a while here. Alright, probably gonna go for another 20 minutes here and then I should get ready for my doctor's interview. Um, if you're interested, I'll probably come back for a little while after that's over. But uh, I really do want to get my back situation at least addressed or start to be addressed here. Growing old with a bad back. Not my favorite pastime here. Um, yeah, this house is gonna build slowly. This marketplace would be a good thing to have, too. And we really do need another school down here. So if we put a school somewhere around here... It's a little bit of an encroachment there, isn't it? I think it's going to have to go there. Okay, are we going to get that house? Yeah, there it goes. The reason I was prioritizing this house here is for, well, it'll help us build this town hall which I want for the metrics, but it'll also um, be the house for the trader over here. <clears throat> and if we build a couple houses in a marketplace and a school, it'll be the start of a town center. And then there's some room out here, farms or another forest node maybe. They come lean in farms at the moment. Poor builders are having to travel a long way though. Spend most of their time traveling here. Oh, ignore my road run right across the mountain. Yeah, see? Watch this. They're, they're traveling so far, they're only coming up here for a bit. Plus, some idiot put roads in, so they're going to do the roads before the house. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, we've got lots of stone. Logs are still struggling. Tools are okay. Fuel's okay. Food's really good right now. Famous last words. No, yeah, we've actually made 80 hide boats. Look at that. And we have, what do we have? About 71 people. So everyone's taking a coat and there's nine left in stock. Okay, that makes sense. 
Um, we have enough people to fully populate this gatherer's hut here, so let's do that. And we've got the hunter in reserve at the moment. Okay, that house built over here. Okay, let's get this town hall built. I think I want the metrics here. Um, but I will lay in a few houses over here. If it lets me here. So I think three houses there. Those should build a little faster. We've got the infrastructure. Yeah, there's a couple of laborers in there. Looks like we need some more housing everywhere. So why don't we take this one off too? This house is pretty far away from a market, so they're probably getting food out of this barn here. Maybe walk in there if they have to. Travel time's a big big deal in Banish, so you want to manage your travel time carefully, so that means houses near employment, markets and schools near houses basically is what that means. Yeah, this is gonna be super expensive, this thing. We have enough, more than enough stone, and we're good on iron. Logs are iffy, but that's okay. Alright, I'm gonna, I've already prioritized this once, but I'm gonna do it again. Maybe the stockpile too. Now, if we get that trader going, what are we actually gonna trade here? I don't really have a great selection of trade goods at the moment. So I'm going to lay these in, and we'll get another full cut forest note going here. Actually, that's filling in nicely, so let's actually get this guy going. So right now we're just planting. Let's chop two, go up to four people in there, and we'll make this a 400 log limit here. Okay, that looks nicely cleared out and starting to fill in well, so... Okay, I know I'm gumming up the interface here, sorry about that. Bridges built, schoolhouse market, stuff here. Um, yeah, okay, so let's prioritize the town hall and the house. What do we have in there? Two builders, okay. I really do think we gotta think about another blacksmith too here. Um, let's go up to a thousand on the woodcutters here for the moment. Maybe even twelve hundred. Okay, we'll give another little stockpile here for this one. this house over here good okay so we got three builders and a laborer now all right that should get us our town hall here and where would this school be I think we can plunk the school in here. Now, interesting question here, at least for me. I don't remember if I turned disasters on or off. Now they're off, okay. 
If disasters were on, you'd want to be building uh, wells near your marketplaces. All right, so this is the town hall. Now, remember I was saying it was super expensive, but super worthwhile. So first thing we're looking at here is the homes we have is 22, families are 29. So we actually need at least seven more houses. There's a little variation in this depending on the, the makeup of the people. So this isn't always exactly accurate, but it's close to accurate, close enough anyways. The next big thing you wanna look at is graphs food and the five year okay so this is a stock over five years so if you're accumulating stock in storage that means you're producing more food than you're using that's good if this line is going down that means you're using more than you're producing and that's your early warning sign to put more food production in so right now we're sitting okay so i'm not going to worry about that you can also look at a graph of tools and stuff like that too but the big one here five-year food graph and you're looking for the trend trending up good trending down immediately stop what you're doing and build more food production and depending on how fast you want to grow if you want to grow really fast you want to keep the number of homes at the number of families or one or two extra if you want to manage this don't necessarily worry about that but do make sure you're putting in three or four houses every year if you don't build houses at all, you'll have what, what's called an age out. So you'll have a whole bunch of people that can't move out of the house and they don't have babies if they can't move out of their parents' house. So if you don't build houses at all, everybody will stay in their house, in their parents' house until they're too old to have kids. Everybody will die of old age and you'll be restarting wondering what happened. Okay, I'm gonna put one more house here for the moment. And I am going to put some houses in here for the wood choppers that we just did. And we already had some houses building, so it said I think we were seven houses short, so let's build all that mess and see where we sit. So here, let's go houses first. Remember, building rows and houses and stockpiles helps you build everything else, right? Just like the example up there with the town hall. That town hall wasn't really going to build until we built those houses first. Okay, once this third house builds up here, I'm going to think about building this trading post too. Yeah, this school would be a good thing to build down here. We got, I'm sure there's students in here that are having to walk a long way for school. And that's this schoolhouse here. Okay. So houses first. Okay, there's one house. Yeah, these people are in their 20s. That's mean, that means I'm behind on building houses. Another house there. Okay, now let's prioritize the marketplace, the third house, and the school. Let's balance this out a bit better. So we got eight builders, seven laborers. And we can probably take a road. Oh, that bloody hill gets in the way. All right, we have another marketplace here, so let's turn that on with one person. And as your town grows bigger, remember to go back and add more vendors in here. Um, this should go down here. Because as you have more people, you'll need more people in the marketplaces, but um, that's enough to start with one or two. All right, now I bet you we're not gonna be able to get another row of housing in there. Yeah, everything I've done today has been one off. But that's okay, we'll live through it. It'll all be fine.
Okay, what's left to build down here? The school. Okay. And I was going to build all the way out to the here. Maybe room for another row of houses here. And I don't think it would hurt to put... Yeah. I was originally thinking of this as our place to put our quarry. Oh, that doesn't fit in there. Hmm. Well, it does almost fit there. I'm gonna have to take out this house, though. Don't know how I feel about that. But I think we should have a quarry. And I think it fits there. And we could get, a, get enough houses around this village for it to operate. So let's do that. Teacher in there. 22 year old and 19 year old. That means we're more in, in line with what we should have for housing. Now we've built all the housing. Let's see where the town hall says we're at here. It says we're one short. That one built too. Alright, let's build this trading post. Um, let's up our fuel limit here to 16. Nay, 2000. Okay. I'm thinking another blacksmith is... Um, is called for. We're keeping up to our 100 limit, but... We're growing pretty big here, so let's get another blacksmith in. Room for a few more blacksmiths there, and it doesn't hurt because the iron's coming from right here. And we could actually think about coal too. <laughs> another example of just one of. <laughs> Oh well. Um, yeah, so let's think about building this guy. Maybe doing steel tools here. Um, we were one or two houses off though, right? So... Hmm. Oh, that's off too. Well, shucks -aroo. Hmm. Well. Probably not my favorite layout ever here, but. I think I did a very classy job of laying this one out. But I'll forgive myself and live with it. How's that? Alright, three houses. Says we need one. Build three. Alright, there's my alarm. And uh, there's the pig timer. So that's going to end episode two of our pure vanilla tutorial. This is an easy start. Um, hopefully a tutorial for beginners. And so far it's been a positive tutorial. I think we haven't killed the town off. We've got up to, uh, looks like 90 people. Our food supplies are really good, I think. I think. Uh, we don't have any stone right now, but we are building quarry. And there's more stone to collect. Iron's good, tools are good, coats are good. Health is four and a half, it's dipped a bit, so we need to look into that. But, um, I am Derpy Moose 99 this is Banished, this is pure vanilla Banished, and this was episode 2 of our beginner let's play tutorial, and uh, I'm going to stop streaming here, and hopefully I'll be back in a little while after I deal with the doctor, 
But uh, everybody take care, and thanks very much, and we'll see you later.